referees are from Russia and Slovakia for this game on Saturday afternoon between Canada and Germany at the World Hockey Championship. Canada is 3-1, and one, has won three in a row after losing its opener to Finland. And Germany is 4-0 oh at the World Championship and our coach Tony Soderholm, the first time they've done that since the first World Championship in 1930. A very good German team. Without today, Moritz Sider, their terrific young defenseman, was shaken up in their last game against Slovakia, so he's being held out for precautionary reasons. They've still got the big man, Dennis Royal, all six foot four, 240 pounds of him. And the goaltender for Germany today will be Nicholas Treutler, who had a shutout in his only other previous start against France, facing just 12 shots. And the starting goaltender for Canada is Matt Murray making his third appearance in the tournament. He's one and one. An important game for both these teams. The United States jumped over Canada in the standings with a win earlier today over Denmark. And Canada, the home team, has the last change in the game. It's been quite an 18 months for Germany. Silver at the Olympics last year. They're under 18 and under 20 teams have both been promoted to the top okay, levels guys. at the World Championship level. And now their World Championship team is 4-0 with a very good lineup, maybe the best we've ever seen. Fabro goes back. Trentless only other appearance was in relief for Germany. When Philip Grubauer left with an injury midway through, he came on and got the win. Germany's had outstanding goaltending from Matthias Niederberger. He's given up just four goals on 91 shots in the tournament. But Troitla gets his second appearance of the tournament here against Canada. Played four games last year. Marshall feeds across that day. Fabro in. And Fabro wearing a full face shield after being struck in the face against Great Britain. Rang that off the side of the net. Patrick Hager dropped that back. Looks for the return pass. That's picked off at center ice by Marcheseau. Ahead to Mark Stone. Stone threads that pass ahead for Dubois, who chipped it wide. And Yasin Elish knocked it down in the corner, taken by Dubois for Stone. Stone in with a sharp angle shot, and Trentla makes the save. Well, there's the oldest formula about checking the other team's best player, Leon Dreisaitl's on the ice for Germany. Play them in the other end. Mark Stone with an opportunity. Dante Favreau with one off the draw. And they'd love to chew a lot of the heavy minutes that Dreisaitl will take by playing him in the zone offensively here. Sharp angle shot, Troitl is able to make the stop. And Face off one by Dreisaitl. And they'll try and get, Canada will try and have Couturier out against Dreisaitl, Couturier's line against Dreisaitl as much as possible. Also yeah. Darnell Nurse against his Oiler teammate. Crease violation is called against Sam Reinhardt for Canada. So the faceoff will come outside. Reinhardt playing for Canada. In his second World Championship, won gold in 2016 in Prague. Pardon me, in Russia. In Moscow, that tournament was. 2015 was in Prague when Canada won gold there. In comes Tipples with it. Frederick Tipples bumped there by Nurse. Severson got bumped as well. And now a chance for Sorelli. Knocked off stride. Moves in anyway. Sorelli a backhand chance. That rolled wide. A penalty coming to Germany. Played back in by Severson. And the play is called at the line as Sorelli's speed. Or it's a holding penalty against Marco Nowak of Germany. Couturier is just going to chip this out to center. Like everything else in Sorelli's game, it involves effort. He's quick, and he pushes his way by Nowak in the middle of the ice, draws the penalty, and then still going to have enough time to make a move on the breakaway. He loses the puck, but Canada an early power play. Canada is 7 for 11 on the man advantage. At the line, held by Thomas Shabbat. Feeds across to Marcheseau. That cross ice pass knocked away by Garrett Fouser. Marshall leads the way for Canada with two power play goals. Stone back to Shabbat. Across to Marcheseau. To Shabbat. Winds and fires. He hammered that just wide. And the puck moved out 
by Corbinian Holzer. Shabbat to Marcheseau. Threads that pass ahead. Turris feeds it back for Stone. Strom, rink wide. Marcheseau works in, drops it back to Shabbat, has a look and shoots, scores! Thomas Shabbat! Power play goal, and Canada's got a 1 0 lead. Man, does Shabbat step into this. He hammers it over the right shoulder of Nicholas Troitla. Really good patience by Canada. As it looks like there's a chance here for Marshall, but when he loses the puck, he delivers it backwards to Shabbat. Marshall doesn't panic when he gets off stride here a little bit. There's nowhere to go as he recognizes the lane is closed down. And then the shot by Shabbat, his first of the tournament, gives Canada a 1 0 lead. Shabbat played for Canada last year, had an assist in six games. He was ninth in points by defenseman this year in the NHL, Ray, despite missing 12 games to injury. A terrific year for Shabbat, who scored 14 times for Ottawa. Quickly established himself as Ottawa's best defenseman, even as he went through his first full season. Nurse threw that across. Tyson Joe shortened down on his stick there to corral that pass, almost like a lacrosse catch there. Now fed back to Jones to cross the nurse. Darnell Nurse in shoots and Troitla makes the glove save. There is Shabbat, the 55 point season. He follows in Marcia So in nice position. I'm really impressed with Marcia So's awareness offensively. You see Troitla looking to his left. He's looking around his forward to try to find the puck. When he looks left, the puck goes right and it's over his shoulder and into the net. Germany has allowed the first goal for the first time in this tournament. Elish plays it around for Fodel. What an escape for Germany against Slovakia the other night in this building. As Fodel drops that back. Here comes Miller, that shot goes wide. Thomas Miller flipped it wide, and now Mantha has it back. Down 2 1, with under two minutes to go. Mantha in, shoots, Portland and save, and Germany fires it down. With the tying goal, and the winner by Dreisaitl. We got a huge three points against the host Slovaks. And tie the game with the goalie out, Marcus Eisenschmid, who played a couple of years in Medicine Hat in the Western League, scored to tie it up. And then Tony Soderholm's team gets the winner about 35 seconds later from Dreisaitl on the two-on-one. And that loss basically sunk Slovakia's chances. Jay Theodore in shoots, that's blocked by Fodel. Or as the lady from housekeeping at the hotel said, Slovakia to put. Marcheseau swings that back. It's picked off by Fodel. Rink wide pass skips to Dreisaitl. And Dreisaitl peels back in the corner. He shrugs off Stetcher there. Throws it back to the side of that. Cahoon in. And Dominic Cahoon dribbles that to the goal mouth. It's kicked away by Murray. Now Stone brings Canada back four wide. In comes Marcheseau. Has a step on Dreisaitl. Threads that just wide. Yannick Seidenberg. Plays that down. Seidenberg, one of 12 players here for Germany who played the Olympics for them last year. And Seidenberg has got a big overtime goal for the Germans in the Olympics. Feeds it down the Canadian zone. And also, unfortunately, was the victim of a shorthanded goal in the gold medal game that turned the tie for Russia against Germany. Twice he thought he was doing the right thing. Twice he did the wrong thing. As it turned out, he had a shot blocked. And then in a scramble in front of his net, Seidenberg's helmet came off. And in international hockey, that's a penalty. So he left the ice. He should have just stayed there and helped clear the puck out of the, out of the way. Hindsight is, of course, perfect. But it was the bad choice at the time. And the Russians scored and were able to escape with a what was an anticipated gold medal. But they were about... 50 seconds away from not getting it. Brought in by Maurer. 
And Frank Maurer couldn't throw that pass ahead. Knocked down for Severson. Germany looking good to make it to the quarterfinals of this tournament as Lynn Bergman knocked that down. Picked up now by Maurer. Maurer flips it back in front, broken up by Jost. Rebound, and Bergman a great chance there. Stop point blank by Murray. Couple of Canadian turnovers. Severson first. After Theodore had the puck stripped, it comes to, in the slot, comes right to Bergman. He's turned aside by Murray. Here's that pass, dry sidle to Cahoon. Cahoon's waiting for something to open up. Really good patience by Matt Murray. Square up to the puck, and he just calmly stays in position, and Cahoon ran out of real estate. Face off, one by Turris. Back at the point is Royal. The German giant on defense. Matthias Plakta. Long shot, drifts wide. Now Michaelis with it. Isaac should be a fan of that shot. It's still loose in front. At the point, Jonas Mueller swings back for it. Here's Mueller. Across to Royal. Flips that pass, rink wide for Plakta. Plakta goes back, rink wide. Isaac should be. And it's skip off his stick. He's tied up there by Adam Henrique. Fourth line on the ice for Canada. At least portions of it in the middle of a change. Nowak brings it back down. And Theodore has it back for Canada. Shea Theodore snaps that pass ahead for Adam Henrique. Busts in across the line with Canada changing. Henrique waits for the trailer. Shabbat. Thomas Shabbat in. Shoots. Trailer makes it up. Rebound. Tap just wide by Joseph. And brought back by Hager for Germany. Knocked down at center ice by Stetcher. Germany's changing. Stetcher for Joe. In shoots. Put that wide. As Hawker got to stick on that. And Shabbat ranges back for the loose puck. And his fourth line makes an early contribution. They draw the penalty first. Their first shift. That was Sorelli. And then a couple of chances there on that last entrance into the zone. Shabbat flips that in. Dubois got there to get the icing. Stone feeds it back. Stetcher is shot to the flex wide. Here, Luke Dubois flips it there for Marcheseau. And Stone taken down. Flips it there for Dubois, working back in front. Loose puck knocked away by Fodel. And Corbinian Holzer of the Anaheim Ducks throws that to center ice. Knocked down by Stetcher. Thomas Shabbat has some room, winds in. In deep for Marcheseau. Back for Nurse. Across to Shabbat. Shabbat to Nurse. Stone parked in front. Nurse slaps it back in front. Marshall missed that. Dubois to Marshall. Backhand shot. Troy to the save. Good pressure now by Canada. Nurse around Dubois. Philip Myers comes on as Canada's changing deep. And Myers, long shot goes wide. Here's Nurse with it. Lays it down to Marshall. Couturier off the bench now. Nurse across to Myers. Down to Couturier. And the dry saddle line in the defensive zone for Germany. That's centered by Myers. Stone could get a shot away. Stone for Couturier shoots. He hammered it wide. Bounces right back in front. And Tipples picks it up for Germany. Dry saddle whips that pass. Rick wide for Cahoon. In comes Dominic Cahoon. Moves around Sorelli. And that pass bounced away from Couturier. Tipple standing on the puck, kicks it ahead. And Cahoon banks it back to Royal. For Cahoon to Dreisaitl. Uh, Dreisaitl working in the corner, feeds it back to Cahoon. Threads it back in front for Tipples, can't get a shot away. And Couture slapped that away from Cahoon. Benedict Shopper up end for Dreisaitl. Good move, shoot, just missed wide. Up the other side for Seidenberg to Nowak. Shots are 6-1 to one in favor of Canada. Dreisaitl moves around Theodore, drops to the trailer. Seidenberg for Eisenschmidt. Bergman. Lost the puck there. Theodore moves it ahead for Turris. That pass missed. And Troy will force to play it as Turris is bearing in on him. Knocked down at center ice by Turris. Swings that back in. Nowak deals back for it. Bauer missed on that pass. Back goes 
Fabro for it. Fabro's injury came six seconds into his first shift of the game against Great Britain. Anthony Mantha works in. Mantha shovels that back. Jam plays side of the goal for Jost, and Troyton gets the pad down and makes the stop. 1 0 Canada leads. You're watching the 2019 World Hockey Championship. off in the German zone. Canada with a 1-0 lead. Germany's silver medal was its highest finish ever at the Olympics last year. Its first medal since 1976. Their last medal at the World Championship came in 1953, a silver. Shabbat. Sends it back across to Stetcher. That long drive by Joe to chip that by Troy. Now Germany has a program called Power Play 2026. They want to be a World power in the game by 2026. It involves youth programs, the under 18s, the World Junior program. They got Dominic Bach, who was a first round pick by St. Louis, a young player coming. There's a young player here who's terrific. Moritz Sider, he's not playing today. He's hit from behind against Slovakia. They're giving him a maintenance day. He's a likely top 20 pick in the NHL draft. Trying to centralize some of their programs to speed and enhance the development of the young players. 13th straight year in the top division of the World Championship for Germany. But their junior program languished out of the top division for five consecutive years. In comes Mark McKellis. Little backdoor pass and Murray makes the stop in tight on Eisenschmidt. What a stop there by Matt Murray. Still 1-0, 9.38 to go in the first. Adeline for the face-off against Sean Couturier. He'll get a steady dose of Canada's number seven today. With Canada holding the last change. Couturier has developed from being a great defensive player to one of the top two-way players in the game. In the last couple of years, they expanded his role, and he responded. Watch it and shoots. It goes off the foot of Shopper. 31 and 33 goals the last couple of years for Couturier. Couturier. A lot in the same breath as Patrice Bergeron in terms of a complete player. Poked ahead for Couturier, knocked down by Sorelli. He's tied up by Dreisaitl. Played ahead by Mueller. Couturier holds, drops it off for Severson. That shot drifts just wide as Reinhardt was looking for the tip. And Couturier swings back forward. Canada's head coach Alain Vigneault getting an advanced look at what 
Sean Couturier will be doing for him come this winter. Poked there by Hogger and Nurse has to race back. Zvino will start the first of a five-year contract as a new coach in Philadelphia. Hogger picks it up. Poke check there by Theodore. Fodel picks it up. And again, Theodore takes it back. Marceau got bumped. And now Fodel had his pull by Marceau. Lead pass for Theodore missed. And as Noak goes back, icing call against Team Canada. Marcus Eisenspeed scored one of the biggest goals of the tournament for Germany. A one-timer that tied the game against Slovakia. But he has missed a bucket load of one-time chances. This is the latest one against Matt Murray. That was a gorgeous pass across the scene. Murray reads it well, but Eisenspeed not able to get enough on it to beat the Canadian goaltender. Also underway this hour in Bratislava, Italy versus Norway. The Italians are 0-5 without a goal scored yet in the tournament. Why are you blaring that? You ready need to bring that up, the no goal stuff? Not a one. <laughs> nope. Italy will play Austria on Monday. Looks like that'll be the battle to avoid relegation on that side. On this side, it'll be France versus Great Britain on Monday. France picked up a point in their first game. They had a lead in the third period and ended up losing it to Denmark, and that's been all they've been able to accumulate so far. Great Britain and Italy were the promoted teams this year as Tourist drops it off to Manta. Anthony Manta walks it and shoots. He whistled that just wide. And Shabbat holds the line, flips it back in deep. It bounces out the other side. Morris Mueller gets to it, and Mantha steps into him. Nobles is almost off to the races. Turris throws that rink wide. Maurer picks it off for Germany. Wire to the goal. Myers back to pick it up. Philip Myers added late to the Canadian roster. And Myers banks it off the boards and back to center ice. Myers hadn't played it since, eight, since April the 13th until Canada's last game against France. And she's had a couple of practice days. And Haka shot and fired that just wide. Jonas Mueller for Eisenspeak, down to Michaelis. Mark Michaelis who played college hockey in the United States. Plays that in for Plotkin, who loves to shoot the puck. It's poked away by Eisenspeak. And Severson back with it, almost turned it over. Severson now plays it across to Joseph. Hard hit there from Plakta, bounces it down to the German zone, poked free there for a moment by Strom. And now Adam Henrique on it, back for Joseph, the pass misfired. Eisenschmidt is back with Plakta. Knocked down by Severson, he'll swing back for it. And then feed ahead to Strom. Strom lost the puck to Nowak, in comes Nowak, shoots! Off the arm of Murray, up and out of play. Germany's tenacity has earned them a couple of chances here, and Canada been a little sloppy with the puck. Anthony Mantha's had a great tournament for, for Canada. He's got five goals and four assists. He delivers this one just wider than that. The six foot five power forward now developing into what is a prototypical power forward for today's game. You don't necessarily have to be as physical as in the in days past, but he is physical. He missed 15 games, unfortunately, with a broken hand in a fight this past year, but he can he can use the body, he can skate, he can really, really shoot the puck. Detroit was asked several times over the years about a trade. Teams that wanted Mantha, and then Red Wings GM Ken Holland would not move him. When Leon Dreisaitl goes to bed tonight after brushing his teeth, Sean Couturier is going to tuck him in. Cirelli drops it back for Couturier and shoots. That's gloved by Troitla. 5.53 to go in the opening period. 1-0 Canada leads.
Thomas Chabot, just 22 years of age from Saint-Marie de Beauce, Quebec. 18th overall to Ottawa in the 2015 NHL draft. It's looking like a very good pick for the Senators. Quickly moved to be the World Junior Team's top defenseman, won the MVP of that of the tournament. Marcheseau walks in, feeds that across, and Theodore walks in, shoots that deflected high and wide. Germany's got to do something about this face-off play. That's the third time. They went it back to the left, and the D is wide open for the shot on the other side. Marcheseau to Theodore. That's broken up by Yashinilas. And Theodore stays with him, keeps his stick out, or tries. They're going to call a penalty for the hook. Actually, a hold on Shea Theodore. So Germany will go to the power play with 5.32 to go in the period. Yazin Elich started the year over in Calgary. Got sent to the American Hockey League, then returned home in Jan or in uh, October. A quick forward. He had a goal in the first game here. He had two assists in that gold medal game against the Russians at the Olympics. But Theodore gets on the wrong side of him. He can't quite catch him. And Germany, whose power play has been very good, just one power play goal at the tournament. Try and equal Canada's score on the power play earlier. Yeah, one for 13. Cahoon sets it up for Dry Seidel. That long shot deflected wide. We've got five fours of the German power play. And here is Plakta, the trigger man from the point. Plakta, long wrist shot goes wide. Back to Cahoon. Fodel standing in front. Plakta to Cahoon. Now Plakta fires again off a leg and wide. Dreisaitl to Hager. Man, they are so far on the outside here. They've got to get, get the puck through the seam a bit. Get it into the middle. Now Cahoon walks in. Severson blocked the lane. Center. Dropped back by Fodel. And Hager couldn't get a shot away. Couturier on it. Tries to kick that. Free Severson. Bowled over Cahoon. At the point is Plakta, swings it across to Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl to Hager, tied up by Henrique, and Nurse fires that down the ice. 50 seconds to go on the German power play. Plakta. Wide to head, he was poke checked there by Sorelli. Here is Seidenberg, the younger brother of Dennis Seidenberg. Long-time stalwart for the German national team and in the NHL. Dreisaitl winds his way in. Flips it across to Cahoon. That long shot tipped in the high slot by Tipples. That went wide. Now Sorelli chips that to the line and out. Sorelli can fly. But Ehlers stayed with him. And now Fabro back for it. Bounds it hard off the boards and chipped ahead by Joseph back down to the German zone. Final seconds now on the power play for Germany. Excellent kill for Canada. They kept Germany for the most part out of the middle of the ice. Just the one high slot tip was the only shot attempt. Now a chance for Stone. Swings that rink wide. Severson shoots. That goes wide. And Darnell Nurse holds the line. Off the bench comes Marcheseau. Nurse shooting for the high tip. Rebound. Stone scores! Mark Stone bounces it home, and Canada takes a 2-0 lead. A broken play, a block shot, and Mark Stone opportunistically on the puck. The point shot is blocked, and German defenseman has a chance here to clear this away. Nurse's shot is tipped once. Oh, it's Nobles who has the puck. He ends up pushing it to the right of the goaltender, Troitlin. It ends up right on Mark Stone's stick. It's Stone who scored the dramatic power play game winner against the host Slovakia with 1.8 seconds left a couple of games ago. Gives Canada a 2-0 lead. Goals in three consecutive games now for Stone. Always seems to be in the right place at the right time. So three to go here in the opening period. Canada two nothing lead. No whack with it. That puck off the stick of a shopper just was going to be rough on the Canadian bench.
Nobles wants to clear the puck out of there. He's tied up a bit with Dubois. It turns out he inadvertently slides it right to Mark Stone, and Stone's got a wide open net to shoot at. Stone, of course, traded from Ottawa to Vegas this year. Had a career high 33 goals this season between the Senators and the Golden Knights. Had a good playoff for Vegas, despite the fact it only went one round. And now Marsh is all with it. And a penalty coming again to Canada. Holzer was spilled. And we've we'll got a tripping call against Canada's Pierre Luc Dubois with 2.36 to go in the period. Dubois' stick gets all into the feet of Holzer. And for Germany, after a poor power play, they get another opportunity here, this time to cut into what is now a 2-0 lead. I mean, the opportunities here, Gord, they don't capitalize. You can only look at your special teams unit feel they've let you down. They're one for 14 on the power play. Couturier cleaned out dry saddle there. And Severson sends it down. You would think they'd be better than this. Sure, absolutely. Too much of the play seems to be on the outside. Plakta swings it across to Hager. Back to Plakta. Fodel was calling forward in front. They couldn't get the puck to him. And then Severson bumps into Hager. Dreisaitl spins away from Henrique. Feeds it back to Fodel. To Plakta. To Dreisaitl. That cross ice pass was partly tipped by Couturier. Dreisaitl gets it back. Centers it there for Fodel. And Severson steps into him. Cahoon. Back for Plakta. Across to Cahoon. Back to Plakta, winds and shoots a pinball around in front, and Murray made the stop. Severson throws that to the line, and Couturier swats it out. A difficult stop for Matt Murray. The puck didn't get on target immediately, and he had to react twice to the shot. 50 seconds to go on the German power play, picked up by Sorelli for Joseph. Joseph in, shoots, and Troitla got a piece of that. These two, Joseph and Sorelli, the two Tampa Bay Lightning youngsters, have been terrific on the kill for Canada. What a problem they've been for anybody on the power play. They just skate so quickly, attack the puck. In comes Dreisaitl. Holds, feeds back. The shot by Cahoon was blocked by Sorelli. Cahoon for Tiffle. Back to Seidenberg. Here's Dreisaitl. Shoots, doesn't get all of it. Rebound. He was turned away in front. The puck still loose. What a stop by Matt Murray. Murray's lost his goal stick. Dante Fabro has the puck, banks it off the boards, but not out. Now Fabro gets a second chance, and again can't clear it out as Dreisaitl picks it up. Dubois steps back on for Canada. Two shots for Germany on that power play. It stays 2-0 Canada, 25 seconds to go in the period. That was better for Germany. A couple really good chances. Matt Murray... A reaction stop after the dry sidle initial shot. Holzer out to center ice, knocked down by Dubois. Lead pass, missed Stone. And Maurer goes up to Bergman. That's broken up by Stone. A chance to hit for Marcheseau, dying second down the period. Marcheseau works in, feeds for Stone. That bounced away from him as time expires here in the opening period. And Canada goes to the dressing room with a 2 to nothing lead.
Because Troitla allowed two goals on 13 shots by Canada in that opening period. Troitla played two games for Arizona in 2015-2016. Got shelled in the second one and never played again in the NHL. Played this year at Nuremberg in the German League. But apparently, according to the German officials, Philip Grubauer has a minor injury and should be ready to play later in the tournament. Interesting that... Germany has its toughest three games at the end of group play. Canada today, the United States tomorrow, and Finland on Tuesday. But with 12 points in the bank, they're in a pretty sweet spot that they can take their time. And I would suspect that Niederberger would play tomorrow against the Americans. When today would vault Canada in the second place in Group A as Theodore goes back. It'll be a tie with Germany. And of course, Canada will hold the tiebreaker with a win. Funny in group play how quickly everything goes. Germany sitting in second place. They lose today and tomorrow when they're in fourth. Kyle Turris works in, snaps that pass across. Mantha in. That was partly blocked by Holzer. And the puck trickled down to Troitla. Nicely executed. Quick little three on two. And Mantha's got the shot from about 20 feet that Holzer's going to hit the deck and block. Turris will find Mantha as McCann drives the net. And there's Holzer that gets down to block the shot, trickles back to Troitland. The difference in that race for second might very well be the fact that the United States beat Finland in overtime. They got two points instead of three. Every year you get down to the, the seeding right at the end, and it's an overtime win somewhere or a point given away in other place that changes the final draw. Nurse goes back, peels away from Dreisaitl, and away comes Darnell Nurse. Canada four wide here. Nurse drops for Reinhardt. Back in front, that pass just missed Sorelli. Dreisaitl drops it back to Cahoon. Reinhardt tied him up. And now Couturier goes back on Tiffle. Around to Dreisaitl. A little chip pass there for Cahoon. Back to Shopper. He fires that one high and wide. Seidenberg. Picked off by Severson. Knocked that by Dominic Cahoon. Had a great rookie year for Chicago in the NHL. Dreisaitl spins away from Nurse. This is like a practice drill right there. And Cahoon walks off the boards and shoots. He fired that wide, short side. Nurse and Dreisaitl probably have done that countless times. Here comes Dreisaitl again. Works in. Peels back. Being watched by Couturier. Back for Cahoon. A long shot. Murray makes the stop and knocks it to the corner. Once Dreisaitl gets moving to protect the puck, he carries it so far from his body, it's impossible to get through. Now Sorelli steals in the corner for Canada. But taken away by Royal. Up ahead for Eisenschmidt. Spins back that pass in front for Plock to handcuff him. 
Back out to Marsha, so he pokes it ahead for Stone. In comes Mark Stone to Marsha, so feeds it back across, and Shabbat couldn't quite reach that pass. Eisen Schmid, he watched there by Marsha, so. And Morris Miller plays it back across to Royal. Puts the puck into Eisen Schmid. Rink wide for Michaelis. Mark Michaelis for Plakta. Plakta works in and shoots. And that goes high and wide off the glass, up and out of play. Plakta can really shoot the puck. He played 66 games in the American League in 2015-16. Scored just four goals, but he shoots the one-timer on the power plays. One of the five guys out there. And this one, he snaps up over top of the net. He hits the back bar behind the crossbar. Been a dangerous player for them in the last few world championships. Played in that, on that Olympic team as well. Holzer a shot that deflects wide. One of four players from Mannheim who's here with the German team. They won the German championship this year. Favreau was tied up. Noble's trying to play that back in front. Mauer reaching for it. Swatted away by Murray. And the loose puck goes to Dylan Strom. And Strom throws that rink wide for Theodore who risks it down in the German zone. At the point is Fabro. Banks it down for Joseph. The pass squirted away from him. And Holzer put that right in the stick of Joseph. And at the line, poked ahead by Fabro, but now brought out by Germany. Norway leading Italy 1-0 in the second period. Gilas. Lost the puck to McCann. Mantha back with it. Bouncing puck goes to Mantha. Anthony Mantha's centering pass knocked away by Holzer. And he just swings back. Hager at the pass block. Mantha works in. The puck rolled off his stick. At the line is Severson. In the corner for Torres. Back to Nurse. Teed up for Severson. Shoots and a glove save made by Troitla. And the ice cleaned out in front of Troitla. So Severson's one timer is unimpeded. A clean look at it for Troitla from 60 feet. And he's able to catch it. Severson who had 39 points in New Jersey this year. Already his fifth year. He's played 360 games in the NHL. At the point, Myers moves in and shoots and Troitla makes a stop on Philip Myers. An undrafted player out of the free agent by Philadelphia in 2016 after Terrific junior career at the Philadelphia's development camp with a training camp. But as you mentioned, right after two days, they said, we got a player here. Better get him signed. Uh, to find a contract for him. and Had a nice start to his NHL career Shabbat this year. Shabbat shoots, kicked out by Troitler. The rebound squirted away from Dubois. There, Luke Dubois, late addition to the Canadian roster. As Seidenberg moves in and shoots that wide. Dubois had a strong start so far at the World. Marcheseau. Winds it ahead. Myers in the backhand shot. Stopped by Troitla. The rebound. Loose in front. Marcheseau try to feed that back. And it goes back to center ice. Shabbat poked that away from Hager. But finally worked free. And then shot in by Fodel. Marcheseau. Out to center ice for Reinhardt. Canada's got... Denmark on Monday, then closes out the first round against the United States on Tuesday. A game worth waiting for. Miller. Feeds it back across to Royal. That pass broken up by Couturier. Centers it right. In a backhand shot goes just wide. And again, Ray, this Couturier line had the dry side of the line hemmed in. Now Dreisaitl brings it back the other way on Nurse. Severson taps it across. Takes the return pass and poked ahead. Couturier couldn't knock it out. Played to an open wing. Reinhardt steps up on it. And now Cahoon holds the line for Germany. Dreisaitl poked at by Severson. Couturier to the line and out. And a race for it now. Sorelli. In on Moritz Mueller, chips it across for Nurse, walking in, drops it back to Couturier, 
Cross, he goes, Reinhardt shoots, and Troitla makes the save. And a penalty coming out of Germany. Couturier was clipped there. A high sticking call will go against the Germans, and Canada will go to the power play with 5.39 gone here in the period. Reinhardt has three chances this shift. He turns them aside. You know what? That's not high sticking. No, that was that was a lift of the stick. The, pot, the stick went up and hit Couturier's face. This is earlier in the shift. Couturier finds Reinhardt after the turnover, and Reinhardt just chips it wide. Canada scored the power play in the first period. Shabbat had the goal, feeds it down to Stone. Back to Shabbat. Crossy goes to Marcheseau. Feeds it down, Stone back across, Stone scores! Strome to Stone to the back of the net, another power play goal. And Canada has a three to nothing lead. Canada's got nine power play goals in the tournament. On 13 chances. Scored one in the first game against Finland, two against Great Britain, three against Slovakia in a 6-5 win, one against France, the other night, now they've got two. This is Marcheseau, Stone, Strom to Stone, and he turns that pass into a quick delivery. Troitla can't get across, there's not much room there. It goes under his arm, and marcheseau has got another assist, that's two today. Strom, who's really been a dangerous player early in his NHL career on the power play in particular, finds Mark Stone, and it's three nothing. So if your power play is going at 69%, you're probably in pretty good shape. Yeah, be, that would be, a, I'd have to agree with you there. Man, they had such a direct way to attack the net. Turris is in the bumper spot to give Strom another option, but the pass goes across to Mark Stone, and he doesn't miss. One current, two former Ottawa Senators on that power play. It was knocked down by Jost. Nice and Jost goes in for it, got tangled up in the corner. Henry to Joseph. Back to Shea Theodore across the Stetcher. Troy Stetcher shoots. Troy to save and the rebound out of the reach of Henry. Joseph feeds that across. Michaelis picks off that pass. And poke back to center ice. Plock to fires it back in. Adam Henry back to Stetcher. Dave Theodore for Kyle Turris who pokes that down. Back goes Benedict Schopper for it. Bergman lost the puck to Mantha. Puts it ahead for Turris. That's broken up and Schopper plays it back to center. Dante Fabro ahead to Turris. In comes Bergman, drops it back to Shopper, throws that towards the goal, went off the skate of McCann. And now Mantha ahead to Jared McCann. Shabbat jumping in as well. Mantha works in, feeds it back across. Shabbat shoots, partly blocked there by Shopper. And Trotter took care of the rest as Germany ices the puck. Canada starting to shred Germany with long passes that turn the puck over quickly. McCann's going to go to the net. I think this hits McCann. It does. It hits him in the foot. He and Chopper are going to the net. Watch McCann, 16. The one timer comes and it hits him in the foot. Doing the right thing. And Shabbat's shot is turned away by his own guy. Off the face off, Marcheseau. For Severson. Racing to it is Nurse, and Darnell Nurse, tied up by Shopper. Here's Marcheseau with it. Fan of that wrist shot, a chance now for Maury, who's taken down by Marcheseau. And that'll be a call against Canada. Marcheseau to the penalty box, Germany to the power play. 11.47 to go in the period.
nothing Canada leads a pair of power play goals this afternoon have helped Canada take this advantage on Germany which is 4-0 coming in so Marceau off for the trip and Germany back to the power play and as good as Canada's power play has been in this tournament Germany's has really struggled yeah they're at the other end of the of the spectrum here not much going on for them they use the five forwards and they get stuck on the outside here and just haven't been able to create much of a shot, much of a pass mentality that just moves around the outside too much. Blackton with a long wrist shot that goes wide. The Germans now one for 15 of the man advantage. Better than the last one, but Dreisaitl. Back for Cahoon. Walks in, holds, and shoots. That's off the shoulder of Murray and back down the ice. Black to back for it. Drop back to Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl to Fodel. Back to Plakta. Dreisaitl. Tied up by Sorelli, and Sorelli sends it down. Sorelli and Joseph back out there to kill this penalty. Joseph gets there first. Matthew Joseph spins it back in the corner for Sorelli. Elis takes it back up. 30 seconds to go on this German power play. Michaelis to Tiffles. Up there by Stone. And a six man scrum over that puck. Make it seven. Seidenberg had the puck skip off his stick and back out. And Marshall steps back on one shot for Germany on that power play. Pass the midway point of the period. Lawrence Miller back for Elis. Elis. Dean center rice and flips that down to the Canadian zone. Fabro back to pick it up. Fabro. Up to center ice, that's knocked down. And Fabro swings it across to Stetcher. Stetcher holds and shoots, punched away by Troitla. Now back at center ice, Shabon feeds out ahead for Dubois. Brought it now by Holzer, Carvinian Holzer. And his pocket pick there by Shabon, and throws it back for Reinhardt. Germany's going to get called for too many men here. Because they have six, six skaters on the ice right now. That would do it. Good math. 8.59 to go in the second period. Canada to the power play. play as Germany has called for too many men. Canada is two for two in the game. Nine for 13 in the tournament. Stone back to Shabbat. To Marcheseau. Walks in, holds. And Marcheseau spins it back for Shabbat. To Marcheseau. Winds in, shoots. And Troyla gets a piece of that. It's up and out of play. One of the changes to power plays over the last couple of years is playing guys on their strong sides. Marcia so the right-hander, comes off the right wing, which you wouldn't have seen in a, in a power play set a few years ago. Everybody would be on their off wings for the one-timer. As Shabbat is now to Stone. 
Stone in, shoots, and Trella makes a save on that. Shabbat to Stone, back to Shabbat to Stone. Looking rink wide, feeds it down instead for Dubois. Dubois to Stone. Shabbat, one time shot, he pounded that wide. Marches to a chance. And that went wide as well. Kyle Turris got jammed there, shaking his wrist. Stone shoots, Trella save, and Turris picks out the rebound. Back to Stone. To Shabbat. Stone. Pass back for March. So in shoots. Trent the same rebound. Oh, Trent, a great stop on March. on the rebound. Shabbat back across to March. So feeds it across for Stone. That deflected away. Stone back with it. Oh, nifty move around Hogger. Back for Shabbat. Shabbat. March is so. Shabbat in shoots. And Trent, I got a piece of that. 40 seconds to go on the power play. Down to Stroll. To Marcheseau. The entire power play in the offensive zone for Canada. These penalty killers exhausted for Germany. Stone to Shabbat. Back to Stone. Works in. He's it back. A quick shot by Stone goes just wide. Finally banged down the ice by Nowak, and Germany can finally get these penalty killers off the ice. Canada's going to get a miss here on the power play. They had a, about four great chances, a minute 45 of zone time in a row at the start, and somehow don't get anything for it. Three shots on the power play, so Canada finally misses on one. And Couturier tries to dig it free. Bank back for Theodore. Shea Theodore to Dante Fabro. Walks in, sets it up. Fabro right in the doorstep, peels back. Finds Theodore. Samantha. And now Fabro a long shot. Trent a save, and the rebound squirted just wide. Theodore launched into that. That hit the butt end of Theodore. Crossbar. Trent. Crossbar. It had, had to be as it bounced all the way to the side boards. A strange bounce to the right, and then Fabro keeps it back to Theodore to Gaturier. Back to Fabro. Anthony Mantha with it. And Mantha being harassed there by Nobles. Feeds it back to Fabro. These German guys have been on for a while as well. Fabro comes in, drops it off to Couturier. Jean Couturier back across Reiner. In shoots and Trent makes a glove save and hangs on. Six to go here in the second period. Canada with a 3 0 lead on Germany. in this period are 16 to nothing in favor of Canada. Overall, it's 29 to 6. Tiffles moves up to center ice. That shot flutters high and wide. Now Tiffles spins back again. Cahoon being watched there by Severson. Slides that back to Tiffles, trying to find Dreisaitl, after the TV timeout, Couturier comes right back for Canada. Get a shift right before it. He's out there against Dreisaitl again. Jonas Miller, a long shot, goes off the end boards behind the goal. Tiffles picks it free. To Cahoon for Dreisaitl in front. That deflected wide. Dreisaitl back with it. Feeds it back. Seidenberg is shot just high and wide. And Jonas Miller holds the line now for Germany. Reinhardt picks that free. Lifts it high in the air. Seidenberg goes back with Sorelli bearing it on him. 
And now Cahoon back with it. Not a hand pass, by the way, because it was in the defensive zone. Somebody you can explain to me why that is, right? Why you can't hand pass it all the way around the rink? Well, why you can hand pass it in the defensive zone, but not somewhere else. Because in the defensive zone, the reason you can hand pass it is otherwise the defending players gassed just fall down and throw it with their hand to another player. So they don't want that advantage. Now, why you can't do it in the other zone, can't help you with that. Okay. But that's why you cannot, or that's why you can hand pass it in the defensive zone. So it's no easy out for the defensive team. Stetcher. Moves ahead now, banks it there for Jost. Here's Plakta with it. Plakta, long lead pass for Eisenspeed. He's had a bushel of chances in this tournament, hasn't he? Just can't get one to go. Had one, obviously, against Slovakia. Bolton with it now. For Plakta. Henrik couldn't lift that out. Holds her back with it. That pass knocked down by McCann and poked away by Henrik. And here's Mantha with it. Anthony Mantha. Steams down the right side. Brings that around. And that's going to be too many on Canada. McCann are gonna, or Tourists are going to say touch that puck before Henrik came off. That was close. Alain Vigneault came racing down the bench. To argue with the linesman. Turris is going to get to the puck and the player going off, I think he's in the air actually. We'll see it right here. Watch when Turris touches the puck. He's not on the ice anymore. Yeah. His feet are off the ice. I think they're going to give him the penalty anyway. Germany back to the power play. Outscored two to nothing on the special teams today in a three nothing deficit. This is their fourth power play tonight. Dry Saddle wins that face off back to Cahoon. To Plakta. Flips it back across to Dry Saddle, being shadowed there by Severson. They've moved Dry Saddle from the right half wall over to the left point here. This makes more sense to me because you can run it through Dreisaitl's hands. Now you've got one-timer set up. Now Cahoon bobbled that puck for a moment. Henrik ties him up and plays it back out to center ice. Three to go here in the second period. Canada with a 3 nothing lead. Dreisaitl spins it back. Plakta shoots it. Bounces wide. Cahoon back on it. Plays it back for Plakta. Across to Dreisaitl. We'll set things up. Try settle a centering pass. Knocked away from Hogger. And it's chipped down the ice by Nurse. Try settle with a minute to go in the German power play. That's knocked down at center ice by Sorelli. And the play call offside at the Canadian line. And just a frustration just oozing out of the German power play here. Dry settle banging his stick as he goes to the bench. Now he's talking to the to his teammates on the bench. You can see him sitting up on the boards. A couple of times he went to pass the puck. They're too far away. He wants them coming closer to him. Sometimes you have to work a little harder on the power play to get into position. The Germans didn't that time in a, another minute and so just sails off your power play. 45 seconds to go in the period. Seidenberg with it. Germany still doesn't have a shot in this period. Joseph lost his stick. Back in front. Elis shoots, scores! Yasin Elis on Germany's first shot of the period. A power play goal, and Germany's down 3-1. Figures it's a broken play, a missed puck, and the first shot of the period for Germany. Yazin Elis has his second goal of the tournament. Canada's in really good position here. 
and Sorelli just whiffs on the puck. Murray's not going to see it with Yannick Seidenberg going in front of him. Look at Sorelli's in position, and that's an E6 error on the shortstop as it goes through his legs. And Yasin Elitz beats Matt Murray, and it's 3 1. Cannon's played a perfect period. Now you're back to a two goal game again. Lead pass just missed Stone. That goes no lack. An icing call against the Canadians. 152 to go in the period. You mentioned Yashin began the year in Calgary. Spent four games in Stockton in the American League. Give you a little hope, and now you need one shot to get within one. 16 to 1, the shots here in the period. Face off, one by Dubois. Shabbat has it back. Lead pass for Stone that was just ticked away by Plakta. Now Plakta had it poked away by Shabbat. Black the lead pass for Michaelis, broken up by Dubois. Shabbat back with it. Theodore at the center ice to Stone. Lead pass to Marcheseau, drops it off for Shabbat, jumping in. Shabbat a centering pass for Marcheseau. And Troy the kick that away. Theodore back down to Marcheseau. Bouncy puck in front for Stone, shoots, scores! Mark Stone, a steal, a shot, and a goal. And Canada's restored its three-goal lead on a hat-trick for Mark Stone. Forty-eight seconds to respond, and a little battle behind the net with Marcia So. The puck pops out, and Mark Stone, who always seems to be in the right spot, is right in front of the net. Oh, this hits off the right foot of Dubois. Germany has the possession of the puck, and Seidenberg's putting this up to the winger. It hits Dubois in the right foot, and Mark Stone gets a gift in front. He's got three today, five on the tournament. Is there any player in the league better at corralling a bouncing puck than Mark Stone? I, there's just not really anything that Stone doesn't do. You know, you mentioned... Reinhardt in, shoots, that was blocked by... Lawrence Miller. George, you mentioned early in the game about Patrice Bergeron and, you know, Couturier thought of in the same way. Really, Mark Stone's the same as Bergeron. Kills penalties, and he scores, he produces offense, he deflects passes, he does all these little things well. I think he's very similar, even though they don't play the same position. Tipples, poke check there by Sorelli, goes for dry saddle, that's knocked away. I can't think of a time in this game when Drysaddle was on and Couturier wasn't, at least not at even strength. Anytime they start from a dead stop, he's, they're going out for sure. It's been a hard match all afternoon. In comes Turris. He's got room. Turris in, shoots. He whistled that wide. And fed back down to the Germany zone. And Canada will go to the dressing room with a 4-1 lead. Mark Stone, the hat trick. And our second intermission is coming up.
Germany comes in at 4-0, but down 4-1 to Canada after two periods of play here on this Saturday at the World Hockey Championship. Mark Stone has a hat trick for Canada. The last Canadian to score four goals in the game at the World Championship was Eric Stahl in 2008 in Halifax. The only World Championship ever played in Canada. This is the 100th anniversary year for Hockey Canada. Stahl at four and a 10-1 win over Germany. And the German fans in the third period took to chanting at coach Uwe Krupp, who after the game said there's two flights a day back to Germany from Halifax. If the fans don't like it, maybe they should go home. Well, that didn't go over well. Here to begin the second period, five on five. English gets loose, sends it back in front. That shot was blocked. As Burton got the drive away. And now Fabro backhands it to the line, but not out. Fabro. His pocket pick by Leon Bergman. And now Fabro back on it. Got for 17 to 1 in that period for Canada. Jared McCann up ahead for Kyle Turris. He gets taken in hard by Hogger, a penalty coming to Germany. And this is. Hitting from behind, it's 2 and 10 to Hager. That'll take him out of most of this period. That's 2 and 10. Turris, this is not a late turn. I mean, Turris has already turned here. Hager's got to pull up on that hit, and when he doesn't, it's the two and ten, as you mentioned. He hits them right between the one and the nine. Canada, who is two for three on the power play, gets another one. Stone and, and Shabbat have power play goals. And Hager, one of the most dangerous German offensive players, is going to miss more than half of this period. Sending in Dominic Cahoon to serve his minor penalty. Shabbat. Swings that down. Stone to Marcheseau. Back to Shabbat. Marcheseau with a goal mouth strong, trying to bang that across. Picked up by Stone. Down to Strom. Feeds it back in front. Marcheseau a drive. And Troitla makes the shoulder save on that. Marcheseau in for Turris. Back across the stone, in shoots Miss short side. And pounded down around the boards by Nowak. It was a really good play in the middle by Torres. He skated about five feet closer to Marcheseau to shorten the pass up. Then that opened up a longer pass to Stone. That's, I'm talking earlier, sometimes you just have to work a little harder on the power play. That was a good example there by Torres. Mantha for Couturier. In comes Mantha, back to Theodore. Mantha, backdoor pass for Dubois. The pass bounced off his stick. Shea Theodore for Pierre-Luc Dubois. To the goal off Reinhardt to Couturier, and Lawrence Mueller got a stick on that. Dubois, centering pass at the line. Theodore can't hold it. 40 seconds to go on the power play. Couturier drops it back down to Reinhardt to Theodore. Mantha, Dubois. Got to throw that pass back in front. Still loose. Couturier banging at it. And now Mantha shoots, and Troitla makes the save. Theodore back with it. 
to Mantha. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Anthony Mantha. Back for Theodore. To Mantha. And that pass ticked away by Noble. In comes Dubois. Walks in, feeds it down to Reinhardt. Final seconds now, the power play. Reinhardt to Theodore. Cahoon steps back on. Lead pass goes to Cahoon. Darnell Nurse coming off the bench, closed on him. And now Mantha back with it. Raymond. Mantha works in. Goes between the legs and oh. starts. What a goal by Anthony Mantha. Say hello to the World Championships leading goal scorer, Anthony Mantha. Now has six to tie for the tops. Wow. What an unbelievable play by Mantha. So creative to go back between his legs. Beats Troitla on the, on the stick side. Intercepts the pass and nowhere to go with the puck. Oh. Oh. What an unbelievable play. You've got to be smart enough to make the play, creative enough to think of it, and good enough to execute it. It's probably going wide and it deflects in. What an unbelievable play. It hits the stick of Troitla and Anthony Mantha has got his sixth of the tournament, seventh of the tournament, just an unbelievable goal. What a play. So tied now for the tournament goal lead with just an incredible goal. Might not see one better than that in the entire tournament. It's incredible to do that at speed. We talk about all the time all the guys are more skilled than they've ever been, and, but they've also got such a confidence to try a play that just wouldn't have been tried years ago. It would have been thought of as a, a show-off type of play. Now it's just what it is. It's creative. It's a terrific Joseph play. Joseph across to Severson. He tapped that wide. Darnell Nurse to Stroll to Severson. And a quick chase saved by Troitla as Nurse knocked the rebound wide. Remember a few years ago when Thomas Hurdle scored between yeah. his legs and there was an uproar about it being a bit of a showboat play. It was his fourth goal of the game. But now a player makes a play like Mantha and all you should do and all that happens is you marvel at the skill involved in the play. Troitla's made some really good saves here. He's just been hounded with shots here since the beginning of the second period 21 to 1 for the shots Angelo Maselli has scored for Italy a boy Angelo it got reviewed as it should it, it counted okay so they've got one yes their first 342 minutes into the tournament patience is a virtue yep. down 2-1 Rome wasn't built in the day Joseph knocked down. Flips that rink wide for Jost. And holds her back across to Miller. Jost works in. Drops it back across. Another great pass. This time from Torres just missed. Mantha back out there. Must be that magic stick he's using. The all white with the white tape. Uh, it also has something to do with the guy that's yeah. holding it. Yeah, the hands. <laughs> Turris works in. Kyle Turris in. Shoot. Troitla save. Rebound. And Mantha slow rolls it in. There's goal number seven. He's your tournament leader all by himself. And Canada leads six to one. As if Germany doesn't have enough problems right now. They're turning the puck over at an alarming rate. This time it's Plakta. Turris is going to get turned aside, and Mantha doesn't get much on him, but he doesn't need to as the net is wide open off the rebound, off the blocker, and Anthony Mantha has got a couple of goals. In about two and a half minutes, and it's 6-1. Leaps over Evgeny Dadnov, Alex Dabrinkit, and Capo Caco. In the sole position of first place for the goal-scoring lead with seven. Stetcher for it. Around to Reinhardt. 
6-1 Canadian lead. Jones with it now. Winds his way ahead. And Chopper goes back. Chopper. Hank Danron still loses it front. Trenton in the first stop. Reinhardt scores. Sam Reinhardt on the rebound. And it's 7 to 1. Six minutes and 44 seconds. Canada has got the last four goals of this game. Reinhardt puts this in. Dennis Royal runs into his own goaltender here. He's going to try to get to the front of the net. Watch Royal as if the position isn't hard enough. Reinhardt's got a relatively easy one to put in. His first of the tournament, and it's 7-1. It's a six goal lead, Raymond. Get going. Here we go, you ready? Trivia wow. time. Already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a little surprised by that, I gotta be honest. This is gonna be a hard one, okay? They all are. As McCann works in, who is the all-time leader in games played at the World Championship? He's a German. It wouldn't be Eric Kunak, would it? No, he's up there, though. He's in the IHF Hall of Fame. Played for the old West Germany and Germany. Walter shoots. Knocked down by Murray. 119 World Championship games played. Dieter Hagen. You'll never be guessed. Udo Kiesling. Wouldn't have got that. You could have given me another 25 guesses. I wasn't going to get that one. Legendary German player. Part of the 1976 Olympic team that won a medal. Lead pass goes to Joseph. When well, you think of all the Soviet players who played for so long in the tournament, he's your all-time leader. I believe in some of the world tournaments, correct me if I'm wrong, did they not, they didn't have a medal round. It was just No, a, it was a straight round robin. Yeah. So you played the, you know, whatever the number of teams were in it. The Soviets had cleaned up pretty much most of them. Royal. Back across to Miller. That bounced down in front. Here's Nurse with it. Twelve and a half to go here in the period. Looking for its fourth straight win as Cahoon moves in. That rattled Matt Murray. And so the referee blows play dead immediately. That knocked the strap off Murray's mask. 12 23 to go. And Canada's got a 7 1 lead. The 2 1 game. Canada scored five goals in seven minutes and 27 seconds going back to the second period. And now a 7 1 lead. Now Michaela's shown out. So Germany's got 
The United States tomorrow, and then Finland on Tuesday to close things out. The Germans are in very good shape to make the quarterfinal round, thanks to the four wins to start. Penalty coming to Canada. Here's Plaka feeds it across. And Noak shot his glove by Murray. And off goes Dylan Strom. Strom has three assists today, two on the power play, and a one at even strength on Sam Reinhardt's goal. There is the hooking call on Matthias Plakta. This game comfortably in hand for Canada now. Germans did score a power play goal late in that second period. Just their second of the tournament. So second unit on now. Seidenberg, who plays both forward and defense. He's had a cross, primarily defense, but that's knocked away by Murray. Here's Eisenschmidt on it. Pick up the point by Seidenberg. Down to Michaelis. Seidenberg, former medicine at Tiger. Knocked across. Eisenschmidt in. Shoots. That was blocked. Eisenschmidt down to Michaelis. His centering pass goes right through the crease, and Eisenschmidt can't hold it. Eisenschmidt also played medicine hat. A couple of years there. Under a contract by the Montreal Canadiens. Seidenberg. Back to Eisenschmidt. Moves it back across from Michaelis. That skipped away from him. Joseph. Gains center right and across the line. Joseph. A sharp angle that's stopped by Troitla. Troitla's got the shoulder pads that are no longer allowed in the NHL. Those almost planks on the shoulder, it looks like. How oh, do they ever look funny, too, when you, when you look at them? Blocked it. Rink wide for Bergman to Dreisaitl. Up ahead for Cahoon. And Dominic Cahoon spins back. Feeds that back for Bergman. Now Plakta slaps it across. Dreisaitl is shot. And Murray got a piece of that. Dreisaitl again. Try to chip that back in front. Blocked by Nurse. Loved out. And now McCann's got a shorthanded break. In comes McCann. Moves in. Shoots. And Cahoon disrupted that in the last second. And Troitla made the stop. Two shots on goal for Germany in that power play. It remains a 7-1 game. Fabro wrist that down. Michaelis goes back and exit called against Team Canada. Dreisaitl's one-timer fires wide of the net. Here's the breakaway by McCann. He's gone and Cahoon goes as fast as he can. He's going to disrupt him with a diving swing of the stick and Troitla makes the save as Jared McCann had got out on the breakaway. Slovakia will play Great Britain here tonight in Kasicha. In Bratislava, Sweden will take on Switzerland in the battle for second place in that group. Swiss have also got a good team here. Nino Niederreiter has been added to their group. They've got Roman Yossi already. That shot floats wide. And now Myers back for it. Two played in the gold medal game a year ago. Mauer. That pass picked off by Mantha. Up for Turris. Kyle Turris works in, drops for the trailer. Myers in his pocket pick by Nobles. Now a chance for Jost. That's stopped by Troitla. Shabbat. And that knocked away. The puck in the feet of Nobles. Brought in by Fowser. Fowser drops it back. Nobles poked away. And now Turris slides it ahead for Mantha. Go he through your legs again. <laughs> Power move instead goes back to Shabbat. Shabbat back to Theodore. A little half pass down to Dubois. And Dubois spins back. Throws it in front. Mantha shoots. That was blocked. And Bergman lost the puck to Strom. His pass back for Shabbat missed. And he's got to retreat to pick up the loose puck. Theodore. Up ahead for Strom. 
Now Shabon in stride on his pocket pick by Michaelis. From his knees, he shoots it wide. Royal with it. That long pass. Missed as Dubois chops at it. Isaac Speed. Bentley coming to Canada. Feeds it across to Royal to Dreisaitl. Now Miller with it. Jonas Miller. Plays that back to Eisen Schmidt. Six meters on five. Dry settle shoots, and Murray makes the pad save. Germany will go to the power play when we return to the World Championship after this. Thomas Shabbat goes off. And so Germany back to the power play here. Not, tr not trying to coach anybody else's team here, but this power play unit has been dreadful. Pretty good time down 7-1 to try something else. Just see if there's another combination of players that might work for you. It's not just been today, it's been the whole tournament. Dry sidle. Gonna swing that rink wide. Henrique broke that up. That pass hasn't worked once. They've only tried it 14 times. They're going to stay with it, Gord, I'm telling you. Just keep pounding that nail until it goes in, huh? Dry sidle. Winds that rink wide for Bergman. Back for Plock. Is that a dry sidle? That missed. Okay, it's three Canadians on two Germans behind the net. You've got the power play. If you don't work hard, you got no chance. Now Sorelli short-handed breakaway. Sorelli in, shoot, scores! Turnover goes up the ice, and Anthony Sorelli has the short-handed goal. Canada's first of the World Championship, and it's 8-1. to one. This starts from back behind the Canadian net. I was pointing out to it with the work of Canada's penalty killers. They outnumber the Germans behind the net. And then quick work up the ice. Joseph, a terrific pass. And then Sorelli's quick delivery goes through the legs of Troitla. 19 goals in the regular season in Tampa Bay. Joseph and Sorelli have been an absolute menace shorthanded in this tournament. And it's now 8 to 1 as Canada's got a couple of power play goals and a shorty with six minutes and 50 seconds left in the third period. Canada looking for its 10th straight win against Germany at the World Championship. Canada's 19-1-1. and Germany won in 1996. The next meeting was a tie. And since then, Canada has run the table. Brought it now by Tiffles. Still 48 seconds to go in the German power play. Isaac Speed. Michaelis. Tiffles in shoots. And Matt Murray makes the glove save. Joseph was the third player back behind the net. He got the puck, made a nice move around the initial German forward, and his pass to Sorelli is perfect. It beats the forward back on defense, Plakta. Remember, the German juice five forward. They're pressing up. Plakta gets beaten, it's in the net. We had a coach that used to show us video like that, and he'd say, this is the old, you're open, you're open. That's great, we don't have the puck. They're all standing there waiting for a pass, but you don't have the puck yet. As they're waiting, Canada outworked them and
Sorelli scores shorthanded. Now Michaelis with a chance, walks in and fires at his short side. 20 seconds to go on the German power play. That bounce away from Michaelis. This is the Slovak fans they're clapping and singing. They're entertaining themselves now. Getting wrapped up for the game tonight. If but for about a minute of play in two games, Slovakia, we've been for a quarterfinal spot tonight. The goal against Canada, Mark Stone, with less than two seconds to go in the third period. So that, they go a second and a half longer. Now they got one point. And if they're able to close against Germany, that's that's three more points. Germany down 8-1 here in the third. Stone has a hat trick. Anthony Mantha is out there now. He's got a pair of goals. Canada has not had two hat tricks in the same game of the World Championship since NHL players started going in 1977. People forget often that Canada boycotted a couple of Olympics of the World Championship because players from the Soviet bloc were not considered professionals. The Canadians and other countries thought they were. Bolter works it and shoots. Murray makes the stop. But Canada didn't go to Sapporo in 1972 or Innsbruck in 1976 for the Olympic hockey. McCann works it and shoots, kicked away by Troitla. 76 was one of my favorite Olympic memories as a kid watching on TV. And Mantha shoots at the side of the goal. And that was Franz, Franz Klammer, Klammer yeah. winning the downhill at home, the last skier. And I always remember the craziness around that. I didn't know anything about skiing, but I'm like, man, that is cool. Now a steal. Garrett Fouser works in. Fouser shoots, and Murray knocked that away. Four and a half to go in the period. Royal works in. That little slap pass miss for Nobles, and Mantha has it back. In comes Mantha across the line. Centering pass for McCann, went in behind him. And now gloved down by McCann. Drysaddle spins back for it, so Germany will take its first loss in the tournament. Try to regroup against the United States tomorrow afternoon. And then play Finland on Tuesday. Canada will move to 12 points. Up in the second spot. Tied with Germany, but of course only the tiebreaker with a win today. And now Reinhardt picks it out. Slovaks have two games remaining and are sitting on 12 points. There's Reinhardt with it. Now centered, and Tyson Jones with a chance. And the stop is made by Troitlo. Mark Stone's got three today. This is the first one in the first period. A bobbled puck comes to him and he puts it away. Power play, beauty. Marcia so Strom and Stone and then a Puck that bounces around and hits Dubois in the foot and pops out to the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Stone. 33 goals in the regular season. He's now got six in this tournament. 
So win today for Canada clinches a spot in the quarterfinal round. The only hope for the host Slovaks would be to run the table and have the United States not get another point. Actually, two points. The U.S. needs two more points to clinch it. Slovakia beat the United States in the tournament opener. So, Mantha now your goal scoring leader with seven. I mean, on our side, the Mantha goal today, the Kako goal against, that was Denmark, I believe, when he went back yeah. around the back of the net and tucked it out the short side. Those would be two of the great ones that we've seen in this in this side of the draw. Now Joseph, rink wine for Fabro. Mantha hasn't hit 30 goals yet in the NHL, but seems like a matter of time. Probably would have this year if not for missing the 15 games with a broken hand. Dubois. Rolling puck, try to flip that back in front. Now Dubois, the line's there with Fodel. Hogger is back out there now for serving his two and ten minute misconduct. That is such a heavy penalty. I mean, he basically takes you out of the game for half an hour. Then you need a couple of shifts to get your legs back. So even though you get you don't miss the whole period, you kind of do. What about when they overlap on the you know here it half period? Then you're you're out of there for 45 minutes. Good luck. Inside two to go here in the third period. The dominant performance by Canada. Moses' fourth consecutive win here. Royal shot dribbles down. Murray knocks that away. And Jones plays it back to Shabbat. So Canada back in action against Denmark on Monday. And then closes out the opening round against the United States on Tuesday. Detcher taps that back. Fabro flips it back out. Turris. Up ahead for Mantha. That long shot by Fowser. Gloved down by Murray. Detcher. Hangs it off the glass and back down the German line. Canada will go to 21 and 1 all time against Germany at the World Championship. You were on the Canadian team that lost them in 1996. Yes, I believe I was. It's not the banner day nor tournament for us. It was seventh that year, I believe. Vienna's nice though. It's a good city. That's about lousy refereeing. Couldn't have been us. Babo he shoots that block. Canada out shoots Germany 36 to 10 in the last two periods. Outscores them 6 to 1 on the way to an 8 1 win. Stone a hat trick, man for the pair. And Canada goes to 4 and 1 at the World Championship. Next up, Denmark on Monday. Murray gets the victory and goal in his third appearance. And Germany will now turn around and play the United States tomorrow. Pretty much assured a spot in the medal round, but the fourth place finish likely gets you a date with Russia in the quarters. for the player of the game presentations and then the Canadian national anthem. And a target rich environment for the Canadian management staff to pick the Canadian player of the game. On the 
left his friends right, the you know, the German Ice Hockey Federation, IHF council member, who is widely rumored to be in the running for the IHF presidency to replace Rene Fazel. Isaac Schmidt is the player of the game for Germany. Played a couple of years in Medicine Hat in the Western League. That's a tough one to argue. He's been terrific all tournament, but three today. A terrific tournament for Stone. Great finish around the net, a hat trick to lead Canada to victory. Stone has five now, right? Stone has five, Matt has seven. Yeah. Here we go. When John Tavares was injured on the day before the start of this World Hockey Championship, the question was, where would Canada's goals come from? Well, so far, they've come from Mark Stone and Anthony Mantha, who have 12 goals between them in five games. Well, we focused on the center position because you take Tavares out of the middle of the ice and somebody's going to have to fill in there, but the strength of the Canadian offense has come from the wings. Al alongside of Jonathan Marcheseau, who I think has been terrific, you've got the goal-scoring acumen of Stone on the power play around the front of the net, and then the power game of Anthony Mantha, who scored one of the tournament's great goals today against Germany. Through his legs, beats Nicholas Troitla. The, the Canadian offense has started to come on with more regularity, more people contributing, but Stone and Mantha have been at top of the class. Canada on a roll now has won four straight, heading to Germany its first loss in this tournament. Next up for Canada, Denmark on Monday. There we go.
Mark, this was a game, eight goals for Canada, a hat trick for yourself personally. How fun is it when this team is just thriving offensively? Yeah, we're starting to play a lot better. Um, Germany was 4-0 coming in here, so we knew that they were a pretty good team. So I think for us, just getting better every day, and uh, we want to be ready for the, for the medal rounds. Special teams continues to be a focal point for Canada. Why is it that this group has been excelling so much on the man advantage? Oh, we got lots of good players. Um, Thomas Shabbat makes it easy for uh, the forwards to make plays. And uh, when you have time and space, that's when you, you create goals. And um, he's done a good job uh, at giving us that time. Matt Murray wasn't tested very often today, but when he needed to be, he was stellar. How key is that to have a goaltender where you have confidence in him? Yeah, I mean, I think he was good early. Um, you know, they had a pretty good start against us, so uh, he made a couple nice saves for us early that kind of uh, settled things down, and then we got a 2 nothing lead, which uh, um, kind of disheartened them. So, um, you know, for him to stay sharp uh, throughout the game when you know, maybe he wasn't getting a ton of work uh, just shows uh, how good of a goal he is. Thank you. Thanks. Germany was stalwart defensively, but today, eight goals against. Why was that? I mean, Canada came out hard. Uh, we made some mistakes in there, and uh, we had to go to the penalty box often, and they have uh, such a good power play, so that was the issue. You guys were tasked with the responsibility of going up against Sean Couturier. How did you find that matchup? What's that? You were tasked with the responsibility of going up against Sean Couturier. How did you find that matchup? It was tough. He's very good defensively. Um, I still think our line had, uh, had had a pretty okay game. We had some chances there. We, we just didn't score the goals. And But we have to get ready for tomorrow. We play USA. It's another big game, so we'll be ready. Thank you. No problem. Oh, nice job. Yeah, we got